Hi everybody, Alex Aplo here from Expert Forex and in this video I invite you to test our million dollar trading robot and I'm going to explain exactly why this robot makes so much money. I'm going to be looking at all the trading strategies used by this robot. So just to recap, I'm going to review all the trading strategies used by the robot. I'm going to give you examples of those strategies. I'm going to show you a new indicator that you can download soon. And we're going to look at the settings used to generate these fantastic million dollar results. And then we're going to look at those actual results. And most importantly, at the end, I'm going to tell you how you can test this robot for a week. Okay, so let's start by discussing some of the strategies or theories that this robot uses. Firstly, the most common comment you hear about trading, buy low and sell high. Sell high and buy low. Those are the key strategies that people tell you to do. But there's no definition when they say that there's no definition of high and low. Nobody knows what is high and what is low. And what we're going to look at in this video is to get a better feel of what is meant by high and low. Then we're going to have a look at the rubber band theory. And most importantly, what this whole robot is based on is the statistical probability theory using standard deviations. Sounds like a mouthful. You don't have to worry about it as long as the robot's making money. You don't need to know all the technical stuff behind it. But I'm sure there are some propeller heads that would love to get their minds around this trading technique. Now it all started about a month ago when I introduced the concept where direction does not matter to succeed in the Forex market and I continue with that. And I use the standard deviation tool to show you how to make lots of money trading the market without worrying about direction. Then in the next video, I showed you how to create that tool, how to set it up so that you can trade this technique. But up until now, this has been a manual technique. So what we've done now is we've developed a robot that trades this fantastic money-making approach. So if you haven't watched these videos, go and watch them for a more background. Okay, this looks very complicated, but remember, this is how the million dollar robot was created. So you need to know just a little bit about what statistical probability is all about. So I've got the advantage that I actually majored in statistics and probability theory in my master's degree. So I have a high level of knowledge in probability, forecasting the future, that kind of thing. So for me, I eat this for breakfast, but this might be brand new to you, but it's very simple. Don't be scared by the, all the percentages and things like that. I'll go through it very carefully. So let's say this represents all the trades were, that were made. It represents the price action that occurred over a period. And let's say it's over a period of, of a year. So what this tool does is it works out the average they also call it the mean, I call it the, the spine of the price action. So the, if this is the average, 50% must be on this side and 50% of the uh, uh, price activity must be on this side. Then they look at the extreme cases where reading stop happening like at the edges of this curve. So this is what we call a bell curve. And what we then say is we divide it into three sections which are called deviations so the price would deviate from the average by one or deviate by two or deviate by three as simple as that that's the price action would go deviate in that in that manner we look at these percentages and we say 68 percent of the price action happens within one deviation of the average so if you look at that uh, deviation down and deviation up 68 so that is where you want to trade because that's where the activity happens but if you look at the next deviation there's only a small addition it goes up to 95 percent if you add up all of those percentages you get to 95 percent so 95 percent of price action happens within two deviations 
and then the rest really happens uh, up to three deviations and only 0.1% goes out of that type of level. So what is this all about? Firstly, what have we learned? Firstly, there's an average of the price movement, and I'll show you that. Then it says, here are, here are the most active uh, price action movements. That's where you want to trade. And there are the outlying values that the price is unlikely to reach. So in other words, it's actually creating a range for you. Now, that's very important. You need to know uh, the extremes that the price can move to. And when you see it on a chart, it will make a lot of more sense. So in other words, some, uh, what you can also say is that when uh, the price moves uh, to that level, it's got a 68% chance of moving back to the average. If the price moves over there, it has a 95% chance of moving back to the average. So those odds are important because you don't want to trade at the average because you don't know what direction the price is going to move. But if the price moves away from that to that, that level, you've got a very good chance that it will move back to the average. And if it goes to that, your chances or probabilities are so much stronger. Okay, so that's a whole lot of theory, but it's important to understand this. We're going to see this in action, how it, may help, how it makes this robot make a million dollars. Now, the standard deviation thing is also still a bit complicated. Here is a definition that I googled. Uh, and basically, it says that uh, when you have an average, uh, the readings can be very wide from the average, like that, or they can be very narrow from the average. So this deviation will automatically adjust and become smaller for the narrow one and bigger for the larger one. And that's important. You're going to see why. But first, let's move on to the next theory, which is the rubber band theory. Now, you won't believe it, but most traders are using the rubber band theory without knowing it. Firstly, I must stress that there are breakout traders and there are retracement traders. Now, the breakout traders often break out from the average. Now, the average is the area of the most uncertainty. You don't know what direction the price is going to move and that is why breakout traders don't last very long in this industry. But bounce traders that use support and resistance and indicators and things like that to tell them the turning points in the market are the ones that make money. And I, in my 20 years of experience in this business. I can say that with a lot of certainty. There are breakout traders that make money, but a lot uh, few, uh, lot fewer than bounce traders. So the rubber band trading strategy is a contrarian or mean revision approach. So it trades back to the average, back to the mean, to trading financial instrument. It aims to identify points in the market that are overbought or ready to, ready to turn back to the average, or oversold, ready to t turn back to the average, and anticipates a snap. So when you're pulling a rubber band, it will snap back to the average. That's why it's called the rubber band theory, uh, and it will go back to the spine or the mean that I was talking about. And you find these indicators on uh, indicators, uh, oscillators. Oscillators means they, they trade the oscillation in the market, the waves in the market. They catch the top of this wave, the top of that wave, and so on. The, uh, and there's a list of the MetaTrader oscillator indicators, standard ones, standard ones. So that gives you an idea. Now I'm going to show you an example of this, and uh, you'll be surprised how it works. So here is the RSI indicator. There we are, it's set for four. And you can see that it, it and, and this line in the middle is the mean, is the average. So you can take that as, as your average. And uh, that aligns that this concept with what we're going to talk about later. So there's your average show. So it moves away from the average, goes overbought, and then that is where the price reverses and then goes all the way back. Then it goes to the other end and it reverses back and that's where the price reverses back and so on. So without knowing it, traders are using the rubber band theory all the time. There's trend lines 
provide better entries but this gives you an idea of how you are regularly trading the rubber band process also if you even if you look at the moving average you can see the moving average. everything above the moving average is a trading away from the average because that is the average the minute it crosses over the average it then uh, creates a trend in the other direction and so on and so on so the moving averages also create these means or spines or averages that are the heart of a lot of trading techniques and and people don't appreciate how important the averages are in trading now this indicator could be anything, could be the stochastic, could be the MACD, could be a whole lot of other oscillators. You'll find they all have a spine and they all have overbought and oversold uh, areas. So let's have a look at the standard deviation indica uh, indicator and that is in fact a channel. You won't find it under indicators, you'll find it under channels, standard deviation and I, what I've done here is I've put one on to the euro pound and I've gone back a whole year and here we can see the theory playing out. It's saying that most of the action will be uh, uh, one deviation from the average and that line that I'm showing you right now is the average line so that is one deviation away and then 95% of the price action will be within two deviations and you can see here that in fact this is um, uh, this one actually is a uh, this one is is in fact a narrow standard deviation bell and most of the action is in fact contained in the first deviation now the uh, the the distance between the deviation lines in this case it's 85 pips not very big for the euro pound but you can make a lot of money by trading the concept so what are the concepts and i'm going to just going to try and keep it simple as possible you never trade near the mean or average line because that's the area of most uncertainty but when the price moves away from the line and hits one of the deviation lines you, what you do there is you sell because the price is going to move back to the average and there in fact it did boom it moved back then it moved again sell there there it moves back then it moved down buy there moved up then it moved up you put into sell so the points that i'm showing you are the points where the probability of success are at the highest the prob probability of this price reversing back to the average is at its highest. And that is why this is so successful. It is only trading when there's the biggest probability of success. And let's just continue getting excited about this technique. And again, you, you, you don't trade when, you, when you're over there. You trade there. You buy there. Up it goes. You, 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 you cash in your buy. Uh, then it goes up there and you sell there. It goes down very quickly. You cash in. Go, uh, you, uh, you, it goes up again. You, you sell there. Down it goes. Buy there and, uh, and you cash it in. It goes down again. Buy there. Cash it in. There it goes. You sell there. It goes, go, uh, almost, uh, almost goes to the next level, but it comes down and you sell profitably now. And then now, what do you do now? You buy, of course, because it's touching the first de deviation. So that's how this the system works. As simple as that. Statistically, it is very, very sound. The, the success rates are incredibly high. So what a lot of people do is say, I'm not going to wait so long. I'm going to actually divide this area into smaller areas. So for instance, here's one where a, a half a deviation line was added. There's the half a deviation line there. So how does the half a deviation? It just helps you make more successful trades. So you can capitalize on some of the smaller moves now look at my cursor there you can buy there and then then cash in buy there cash in buy there cash in so you end up doing a lot more trades rather than waiting for it to go to the extremes so that's what a lot of traders do and that multiplies your income obviously um, then you then the next question is what happens if the price moves to deviation so it goes for instance um, 
let's say you're using this uh, the, the, this dotted line so uh, the price would go down you'd actually buy there and then it would go down again and you and you would buy again so you would just buy again now there are two strategies some people just buy the same amount in, in other words if it's one lot that they've bought there they would just buy one lot there but the clever traders say my probability of success is so much higher when it goes to the second deviation level so therefore i'm going to take two lots so what happens is the, the, the trader tra uh, cashes in two lots it comes down again it cashes in two lots again and that is the area where super profits get made and then eventually it comes back and uh, the the first buy is cashed in and that buy would be at one lot so so that is another strategy that uh, people use you can use uh, the same lot strategy or you can uh, increase your lot size you don't need to double it but you can increase your lot sizing so you can see how this strategy just plays out so fantastically and this is the price action over a year so you can just see how much money you would have made trading this price action now as i say this is pro probably one of the bells that bell shape that is very narrow because you can see all the price action happened in within the first deviation so now we have an indicator that uh, you, we will make available next week which is uh, like you can see here the that is three three deviations away that is two deviations that's one deviation away and there is the middle line so here the trade has added an additional three deviation lines up until the first major deviation so that would most probably be 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and there's number one and again why did he do that because you sell there you cash in you sell there you cash in you sell there you cash in it creates much more many more trades and that is the secret behind the million dollar EA does that type of thing. So this indicator will come out and it's nice. It actually identifies the uh, levels. You can see that the price hasn't come close to those levels. So uh, it also offers you an, a, a view of safety. How safe is the movement? How's, you know, it's very unusual that the price will get to that those kind of areas. So it also gives you that scientifically calculated area of safe. So, so here's a reading of the most one of the most volatile currencies, the pound yen, and it also has this kind of profile. Uh, there's the center line. There's number one deviation. There's number two deviation. There's number three deviation. The only thing here is the distance between these deviations is 650. Now, we looked earlier, the other one was 85. This one is 650. So a lot of traders say, now I'm not going to wait for so long to trade a highly volatile currency. I'm going to use the low volatility and cash in a lot more often than to do this type of thing so currency selection is very important you don't want to get involved in uh, trades that where you have to wait a month or two to cash in you you want to trade very quickly um, you can add more deviation level tr to trade in but in general we found that the high volatility currencies do not provide the profitability of the low volatility currencies so measuring the deviation distances is quite important uh, when trading this technique okay so now you have an idea of the basic techniques we're looking at we're looking at a rubber band technique where if it touches a line it will snap back to the average it will snap back to the average sometimes this, it takes a long back, time to snap back other times it snap backs straight away if it if it doesn't do it straight away and it goes to the next line the chances of a snap back increase the probability of success increases and therefore you can put more lots on those on, on that particular transaction but let's have a look at the settings that are currently in this EA. It'll give you an idea of how it trades, what kinds of things are important. And it's also a, a, a training video 
for the testers that will test the EA next week. We're also going to be supplying some of the testing templates that we've used to create these million dollar results so the testers will be able to find those settings from those templates. So anyway, let's start with the, the input. Uh, it is going to be called the bell trader because it trades the bell of uh, the probability bell, the statistical bell that we have. So it's the bell trade. And it basically says, what kind of deviation do you want to use? What period? So you can have a daily period, a four hour period, or hourly period. The daily period is the most reliable because you can fit it into a year, see where those deviation levels there, where's your mar margin of error. So if you use the daily standard deviation it doesn't mean you can't trade it on a shorter term so you could use the daily and that's why we separate it while we actually ask you you know and you well, then we say all right uh, you can trade it on a 15 minute chart or a one hour chart uh, although the lines have been determined by the daily the longer the period the longer the period you're using the more reliable those lines are and those lines will repaint <laughs> the indicators designed to repaint because it has to adjust for new information but if you use long periods the repainting will be minimal on an ongoing basis so it's, uh, then it says how how many bars must i look back so if you're using the daily and using 200 that's an, almost a year of trading because you don't trade over weekends and uh, so so it asks that and the, the longer that number is the bigger that number is the more reliable your standard deviation channel will be then it starts asking a question do you want your uh, levels to be determined uh, by a multiplier or do you want to do it manually now let me show you the manual option so the here's the manual option you would manually enter those numbers now if you look at the defaults at the moment it's 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 0 0.1 can you see it's adding a lot more levels from 0 to 1 then it goes to 0 0.25 0 0.5 and then so it's adding a slightly fewer between 1 and 2 and then 2 to 3 has only got two levels and then that is the most unlikely level that the price will reach but you can put it in there so you can see how the this particular trader has pushed most of the trading into the area where the most activity happens then a little bit less and less depending on the deviation levels so that is what me meant by that you can de determine it statistically so you, you could say all right i'm going to start at 0.25 and increase the number that number there by let's say 0.5 and it and and the ea will then increase the uh, deviation um, transaction level because the, the 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 lines the line determines the entry and the target so it, when you enter one at one line the uh, and let's say you're selling the next line will be your target so the, the, those lines are quite important so that is how that works then it says how many lots do you want to start with default is 0 0.01 and how many lots do you want to increase it now if you want to increase if you want to double your lots every line you would you would put in the the 2 0.01 will then become 0.02 and 0.02 will become 04 and so on and so on that's that would be a martingale sequence that might work for this particular ea but that's for the trader to decide how of uh, how by how much they want to increase their lot sizing if they want to do nothing they put in a one there and then every transaction is at the same lot size then now th then we're building in some safety features we're saying what is the maximum gap between sells and buyers the, it, it is a there's a vague possibility that there could be a sell transaction and and buy transaction if not, even if there are zero sales and let's say six buys, what it then says, oh, I've now reached the point where danger is going to start happening. I'm starting to go out of my two deviation level. So let's go back to the charts and I'll just show you that. So here's the chart of the uh, the pound yen. So it's there. It's gone down to the the first deviation level. It's now gone to the second deviation, and you're now into a danger area, 
not so much because the probability of it reversing is so high there but a lot of traders get insecure there and they say okay i want to make changes to my strategy um, so that i don't get hurt so what one of the things traders often do is they hedge they just say okay if there are six buys i want six sells there so they hedge the uh, situation and then when the price moves back into the area where they make most of their money they would unhedge and then carry on trading from there so uh, we give you a couple of choices there i'm not going to go through them all but there there are possibly there's a whole list of choices don't enter any more trades uh, uh, enter bigger gaps smaller lot sizing uh, close certain of the open deals enter trades in the opposite direction those kind of things those are the uh, options that traders that are insecure they don't trust the system uh, to work perfectly they can use those options but if you trust the system 100 percent, you know that the further the price moves from the from the mean or the average the greater the possibility of it snapping back at least one level and that's all it has to do one level because then your transaction hits its target Okay, so there are the options. Then we also have stop losses per transaction. So the system has stop losses. Uh, so you don't have to be scared of that. Uh, if, the, if the price suddenly goes uh, in a direction that you're not intending, then there is a stop, op, stop option. So you have fixed targets, fixed uh, stops that you can use. Don't have to. In this case, the, the default is zero. Um, then we have batch exit so in other words let's say you've taken a cell and the price has gone up and you've taken another cell what the batch will do is it look at at both and when both of them are together are twenty dollars up that's the setting that's currently there it will close both one at a small loss and one at a, at a bigger profit so that you make a 20 20 pip loss so that's how batch closures happen uh, and you can do that in terms of pips or in dollars. So that's how the EA works. It's very, very simple. But it is based on probability and statistics that say that your chances of success, which is a reversal trade, increase dramatically the further you go away from the mean or the average or the spine of the price movement. And that is the theory that it's based on. And it also gives you the ultimate regions, which is the three deviation where the price will possibly never go to, as you've seen on the charts. And that's so there is some safety in the system. OK, so here are the results that we've got from optimizing this EA for a year using different currencies and Many of the currencies included the yen because the yen was one of the problematic currencies of this year. And here we can see some fantastic run. One point, basically $1.4 million, $1.4 million, $1.1 million, and here $1.3 million. Now these are just extracts of some of them. There were many other results where currencies were involved and uh, other combinations of look back periods. It is a very flexible technique because these values are statistically uh, calculated where the most unlikely places that the price will go are, uh, is calculated and that gives the trader the ability to basically trade any currency but then they have to take into account that some of those trades are going to be open for a long time and they will then build up carrying costs in those, with those currencies. Some currencies provide positive carrying costs, others provide negative, but it, there is the danger of building up carrying costs if your transactions are too long. So a lot of traders, what they do is they use low volatility uh, uh, currencies and they trade them very aggressively. They know that the probability and, st and statistical projection is that the currency will not move beyond 3D. Okay, now th the a big question that you're waiting for, how can I get my hands on this to test it for one week? Now, we're going to make this available in our paid forum because that is a benefit that the paid members pay for. And here it is. Uh, there's the paid forum. 
the ability to beta test new indicators and trading robots. So that will be going in there. The robot will be available next week. It isn't available now, so don't go and look for it. It will be available next week. There will be an announcement when it's uh, available. And paid members can go and download the EA. Download that indicator that I showed you. And also download the template that we use to create these million dollar results. And then they can spend a week playing around with the EA. And experience the power of this technique. Where you're always selling high and buying low. Then after that, they, the members will benefit by special launch prices. And they do, after that, they get a standard 60% off our premium robots. So membership is well worthwhile in that it allows you to beta test. It, it gives you a launch discount. And it also gives you a discount if you want to expand into other robots. Now, I must stress that this testing period will only last until the launch occurs. So it is a limited time offer. It will not, after the launch, there will be no testing any further. Then the launch version will apply from then on. So if you're watching this video after the launch has happened, unfortunately, the testing period will be over. Now, I hope you're as excited as I am about this particular EA. It is based on such good statistical and probability principles and it enters trades when the chances of success are at the absolute highest. So really fantastic EA. I can't wait for the launch to make this EA available to traders. If you have any questions or comments, please do them in the comments comment facility of YouTube and any links that I might have mentioned in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary of the video. So from me Alex Deploy, cheerio.